light on looking for a vibe so she came to get a night on now these are the hey y'all what's up my name is mariah sheeler and welcome to my channel so if you can't tell uh today i'm going to be showing y'all how i install this amazon wig this is a hd lace front uh 3x4 wig it is i believe 150 percent density deep wave 20 inch and yeah i'm gonna show y'all how i installed it it looks real cute i'm actually really surprised by this wig because i got it off of amazon it was only 89.99 y'all it was less than a hundred dollars the hair is nice i got a whole bunch of mousse in it because i wanted that wet look today but the hair is so soft when i say this hair is so soft it's so soft y'all and it's so easy to detangle has a very very minimal shedding and yeah she's super duper cute i'm not even gonna lie she's super cute and for less than a hundred dollars mm. so if y'all want to see how i installed this wig keep on watching all right y'all so first i'm going in with this alcohol wipe it's 70 percent uh, usually you want a little bit higher but this is all i had so i just went ahead and cleaned my hairline really 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 well and then i'm going to spray my got to be and brush my hair backwards just to get it out of the way you're gonna see me do that a couple times and i should have blow dried it in place i don't know why i didn't i was tripping um but i kind of just held it in place and got it to lay down All right, and then now we're going to do the ball cap. I usually prefer a thinner ball cap, but I didn't have none, so I had to work with what I had. They actually sent this to me when they sent me the wig. And I go ahead and cut my ears out, but make sure that you cut, like, low-key behind your ear so that you see that run on the side of the ball cap so that you don't get any runs in the front. Cut it in the back and the runs will all be behind your ear, which nobody will be able to see. So I'm just really making sure that's placed flat against my head. And then I'll go ahead and do the other side. So now I'm going to go ahead and place my got to be again uh, to secure this ball cap down. But I like to do it as close to my hairline as possible. Like I don't just spray it in a big line because my forehead is small and I hate when the wig is too far down on my forehead. It's not cute. Baby hairs be touching my eyebrow and shit. Like, no. So <laughs> I just go in and really try to get as close as possible to my hairline and also outline the natural way that my hairline curves and everything just to make it look as natural as possible. And then, yeah, I just rub it in like so. Okay, and then I'm just gonna dry it with my hooded dryer because it was late and I ain't got all day to be sitting here. So, I'm trying to make this process go as quickly as possible. All right, and now it's time to cut. So I go ahead and make a cut down the middle. And I honestly should have used my eyebrow scissors for this just to get it as close to the skin as possible. But my eyebrow scissors, I couldn't find them. So I just used these hair cutting scissors that I had. Um, but definitely if you're gonna, if you have eyebrow scissors, the little tiny ones, use those because they work better but yeah i'm just gonna cut it 
as close as possible so that we can get that flat bulk out. Okay, and then you're also going to see me kind of be finicky um, with over where it is by my ear. Just because I don't want it to show, like I just really want it to look as natural as possible when I put the wig on. So I actually ended up cutting more of that over and there at my ear, which is okay. My hair was still protected, most of it anyways. Thing is, when it comes to lace front wigs, if they're not glueless and you're gluing them down, um, you know, no matter really how hard you try, a little bit of your hair gonna come out. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But as long as you make sure you take care of your hair underneath your wigs, in between wigs, um, or when you're taking your wig off, you know, deep condition, oil your scalp, all that good stuff, you should be good to go. And I make sure I take breaks when I'm wearing wigs too because I ain't got time for all my edges to be gone, okay? Uh, you see me being really, I'm just really making sure I get all the excess off. Uh, make sure, you know, don't be afraid. Take your time. I definitely do not recommend installing a wig if you're in a rush. <laughs> Take your time. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. Of course, I sped up the video. Um, so y'all ain't sitting here all day long because I respect y'all time. I do. I do. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm literally just applying my got to be ooh i lied not got to be um ghost bond uh yeah my ghost bond glue i'm adding that to the little popsicle stick and then from there i'm just putting it on the ball cap and um pushing down those edges that are slightly raised so that i can get it as flat as possible and I'm trying not to go too far on my forehead as well with this. Uh, I'm just trying to keep it as clean as possible. Taking those scissors, clipping anything that looks like it's extra, like so. And then going back in with the glue and spreading that evenly. So once the glue is all nice and dry, I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation powder all over the ball cap. Um, I actually wish I had a better color, but this one sufficed for the most part. So boom. Looking like Caillou. Hey. Oh wait, no. Caillou is white. I'm looking like Lil Boo. <laughs> Alright, so once I'm done with that, I'll go back in with my alcohol wipe and just clean up the edges. I do this a lot. I clean up the edges probably in between every single step because I hate when the glue just gets all like cakey looking. And no, it's too much. So yeah, I'm going to clean up all around the perimeter of the ball cap before I go ahead and measure to see where I want to place the wig at so that's what I'm doing here um sorry the angle is not good I had a little tiny mirror right below the camera I was tripping I should have did this in the bathroom my apologies my apologies okay so I see where I want to place it now I'm going to go back with that ghost bond glue and I'm going to apply an even layer all around the perimeter of my hair or my hair my hairline on the ball cap and pushing a little bit out onto my forehead as well because again I have a small forehead and I do not want this lace to be too far down because I'm a little crazy so I believe I put two 
layers of glue, letting the glue dry down before adding the second layer um, for the most part. So that side was starting to go clear, so I go ahead and add that second layer. I should have added three layers just to get it, you know, make it last longer, three or four. Uh, but I was thinking that I was going to take this wig off in like two, three days. So I didn't want to add too much glue. But if you're planning on keeping the wig on for like a week, two weeks or more, definitely put, I would say, even three to five layers of glue. Just make sure that it dries clear before you place the wig down or else it's not going to lay right. No, Letting it dry. Once it's clear, you can't see the glue no more. Go ahead and place down your wig. So I'm doing that here and I'm just pressing it down with my fingers. And then I'm also gonna go in with my um, my comb, my rat tooth comb, or rat tail comb, and just push the wig, the hairline into the glue with the comb just to make sure that it's fully secure all right and once i'm done with that go ahead i'll go ahead and put my uh what is that melt band i can't think of the names of nothing today uh, my elastic band so that I can melt it <laughs> down onto my forehead before I get ready to cut it. And I left that on for maybe like mm, 15 minutes. And then I'm going to just get my scissors and cut out my little tab. It just makes it easier to cut the lace. And then I'm going to take my eyebrow razor, a nice fresh one so it's sharp. And go ahead and cut the lace as close to my hairline as possible. Um, usually I would recommend try not to cut the hair on the edges. I did a little bit and I mean you can't it you can't tell. So even if you do, don't stress out. It's okay. Everything's gonna be good. <laughs> but if you could avoid it, do so. But yeah, I ended up cutting just a little bit of the hairs in the front. Love And I like to get it as close as possible uh, just because I don't like I don't like a whole lot of extra lace. Sometimes I see girls leaving a lot of um, extra lace on it. And I don't know if that's on purpose, but I don't like the way that looks. <laughs> so I am trying to get as close to where it's glued down as possible without cutting off too much of the hair. Boom, so once that's done, I go back in with my got to be really close and I just spray all along the hairline so I can get the little edges that are frayed up to lay right back down. And once I'm done doing that, I'm going to go ahead and take my elastic band again. Oh, what? Nope, I lied. So I'm going to push it down with my rat tail comb first. And then I'm going to put my elastic band. So, boom. Look at that. It's sticking a little bit. But it's laid down, y'all. Okay? I just need to go ahead and wipe. Again, like I said, <laughs> I am going to wipe down the perimeter with the alcohol wipe once again because there's extra glue on my forehead over the lace. And that's not cute and it's going to look crazy when you go to put the makeup in to blend it. So clean that up and then I go ahead with my powder and push that into the lace or brush it into the lace to go ahead and further blend that in. Um, I didn't, I needed to go get more makeup 
So the makeup that I'm using, it's all right, but it's not the exact shape that I wanted, which is okay. Uh, but then I go ahead and pull out my baby hairs. So y'all, okay, when I first pulled out my baby hairs, I did it the right way of how I wanted. I pulled out only a little bit. Okay, and then I thought I was tripping. I was like, oh no, it needs more. And I pulled out more of the baby hairs. And I mean, you're going to see, it doesn't look bad. But I, personally, me, I don't like thick baby hairs. Like, I don't like a lot of baby hairs. So, yeah, that was my fault for doubling back. But it's all up to you and your preference. If you like a lot of baby hairs, then pull out a lot. If you don't, then don't pull out a lot. But even though I pulled out a lot, I was able to fix it later with my hot comb. The hairs were shorter, yes, but you can't really tell, so. I'm a thug, looking baby, in the right side. Love it, baby, twist it, darling. Do it like you mean it, darling. Keep it coming. Ooh, keep it running. Keep it messing. All right, so now that I got them pulled out, I'm going to go ahead and hot comb the baby hairs forward just to get them to lay down that way instead of trying to revert backwards. And y'all are going to see, I didn't have, I don't have a lot of the stuff that I need. I didn't have my flat iron for me to curl it, curl my baby hairs the way I wanted them to lay. Um, so I didn't, of course, since I didn't have it, I didn't use it. But it's okay, because if you know how to swoop baby hairs, then you'll be Gucci. Like, it's not that big of a deal. It just helps, so... Go ahead and cut the baby hairs. I like to cut them a little bit longer. Um, that way, if I need to cut them shorter, I have the leeway to. I just don't like to cut them short in the beginning, and then I wish I hadn't cut off that much. You feel me? You can always cut off more. You can never add more. That type of vibe. So, yeah. Didn't have my curling iron but or flat iron, but I'm just going to go ahead and put in this foam um it's an alcohol free foam water base so it doesn't lift the lace and start swooping these baby hairs which i don't really know how to explain it's just really trial by error um just when you do swoop them make sure that you uh hold it down with your finger the way you see me doing right there All right, so I didn't have a wax stick. Couldn't find one at my beauty supply store for some reason. So I'm just going to use this OG wax, okay, 100% beeswax. Same thing as a wax stick. It's just not in stick form. And I'm going to add that to my part so that I can go ahead and hot comb that down. I kind of brushed it in a little bit or combed it in a little bit with my rat tail comb. And then I'll go in with the uh, hot comb as well to lay that down all right so this is what it's gonna look like with the baby hairs a little thicker but i went ahead and restyled it in the morning and this is what we're looking like. Okay, y'all. So, that's basically it. I apologize also because I installed this wig at like 1.30 in the morning. I don't know. I don't know. So, if the lighting isn't all the way there, I apologize. Um, towards the end of the video, I had like baby hairs. I had a lot of baby hairs. And I just didn't think that was cute. It, I, don't, I don't like a lot of baby hairs. So, I fixed it. Um, I ended up just putting this a little bit of baby hairs and I brought out some tendrils to make it cute and then for the wet look I know I didn't record this because I just did it this morning my apologies um, but for the wet look I just wet it and then I put mousse in it and um, hot combed it backwards and yeah 
this is the wig. So I appreciate y'all so much for watching all the way to the end. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have no idea how much that means to me. If you like this video, please like it. It goes a long way for your girl. And also comment, let me know what you think of it. I will also make sure to link this wig down below in the description box just in case you want to buy it. It's definitely a steal. Um, and yeah. Thank you guys so much. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are rocking with your girl, go ahead and turn on your post notifications because I will be dropping a new video every single Monday. And it's always going to be something a little bit different, but always something in the beauty realm and or money making realm. So if you're interested in that, yes, please, please, please like, comment, and subscribe. It means so much to me. And I will see y'all in the next one. The hoes, what a backwood, you could buy one They gon' say she rude, little bitty, just an icon, real bitch